In this video, we'll take a look at what kind of sun and shadow studies you can apply with inside Revit and Vasari and the conceptual environment with inside Ecotech. We'll take a look at overall questions like is the context shading my building? Is my building shading the context? Is my building shading itself? And take a look at the different functionalities and where they can be applied most effectively. So I've now opened up Vasari to start out because it's typically where I'm going to start doing shadow calculations. It's quite uh, intuitive to work with. It's very easy to set the location and import sitemap and then to effectively of course model up a very simple context that you can use for developing your new development here. And one of some of the questions really important in, in a shadow study is as well in daylighting or whatever is how is the context shading this new development here and how is my building shading the context what kind of impact does my new development have on the existing context and how is my building self shading itself so this is some of the questions that we can effectively use some of these tools for and some of the functionality in here as uh, you'll see we have an integrated sun path that we can kind of play around with we can also go down here to sun settings and we can choose the different sun extreme or we can kind of select a a multi-day to do a summer sold study here okay like that and then we can go down here and we can do a preview of it and really start animating that right away so quite effective but still really effective in the early stages where you want to work with how can we orientate orientate the building and of course you can use the sign options to make iterations of your model like that and use the strength of the browser structure and the view set up to kind of go to summer sold ties and having kind of pre-set up views that we can quickly apply and watch our model at different times of year. Okay, so really this is at a very conceptual stage and of course you can do this also inside Revit with building geometry or whatever. I'm just gonna kick back into Ecotech because Ecotech does still have some functionalities that are pretty smart to apply. With inside Ecotech you're working in a 3D editor and then a visualized view. In the 3D editor the shadows are 2D dimensional but you can color up and give individual zones a specific shading color or reflection color which help us to really examine that help us to kind of examine let's go to shadows and then say okay we can reverse shadows to show the impact of only these shadows or all shadows in relation we can go to visualize f8 and we can here we are able to really visualize our shadows um, as well in 3d as 2d and we have the sun path and it's really easy to navigate in here we can just double click here and we can scroll or we can search for the summer solstice or whatever kind of sun, sun extreme we want to look at and we can also when we have done analysis search for hottest day brightest day etc using the weather file so this makes it quite effective as well in the 3d editor we are able to look at solar rays and we can really use the shadow range really just showing an interval within the specific month where we'll have a lot of where we'll have the most shading and where we'll have none and we can of course animate shadows annually and of course because shadow range is or a, a whole day we can't do that hourly so but we can do shadow studies very simple except from that we are also able to with inside Ecotech, I'm just opening another model here to s really go down and look at how much and calculate the impact of shading on this building here. So if we go to just calculate solar exposure, sorry, calculate solar exposure, you'll see that we can calculate the incident radiation on an average daily basic, or we can look at it for a single day. And this gives us really helpful information if we wanna do shading or whatever, but this means that we can really calculate the amount of daily radiation without any kind of new envelopment or with the new envelopment to compare and also give a very good introduction to how much radiation we're working with. So a lot of things we can do here to, to measure and calculate the amount of radiation and shading conditions for the individual objects as well. And we can take this out to really to nice reports and stuff like that. And here, in the next example here, we did in and we used the right to light tool, really creating an angle that helps us determine the best urban layout and see that we might need to cut off a story here. And we were able to go up and display the object that to do boot to see the effect of building this new envelopment here. It's quite a unique tool here. And as well calculating the amount of sunlight hours hitting these courtyards here or 
whatever kind of surface or grid that we lay out in the model to really do it a bit more qualitative here. And we can of course take these data out, define by the data and scale. So really, this would be the workflow using Vasari very initially, and then when you want to work with more specialized shading studies to pull it into tools like Ecotech.